I got pregnant when I was at school with a, with a teenager like me as well. So I was rejected by my parents, my siblings, everybody at least rejected me. Then the time of coming for, for delivery, I could not come, I could not access the hospital. So I had to deliver at home. I labored for three days. Then the first day is when I got, I delivered the baby. When I got fistula, things now worsened. The condition really worsened. It was too much where nobody even wants to sit next to me. When you're even trying to sit with people like this, you're smelling, you're doing what, nobody wants to sit next to you. So at that time, it was so sad to me. I took two years with that problem. And one friend of mine said, there is an organization that are helping people like you. You can still gain back to your own way the way you used to be. Okay, I said, really? Is it, is it true? Because I was now having doubt in my life. I thought I was going to die. But thank God I got to know about Terry Wode. And Terry Wode came and picked me from the village. I got the treatment and I was okay. After getting the treatment, I was encouraged. They were like, they teach you and ask you about what is that you want and what do you feel like you, you can do. So when I went to reintegration, I told the, the trainers, I'm like, I need to do tailoring because that was what I wanted. When I went to the training, I did the course well. I came back as a tailor. That was so great and I love that. That is like making a woman gain back her courage and really she will feel what she had missed in the time of fistula is no more. After putting that hospital, I was employed as one of the caretakers supporting the women with fistula in the ward. As they come without the people at home, it's me who stands with them as their sisters, brothers, everything at home. And I give them the courage that you see me here, I was once a fistula survivor, but look at the way I am. I am now healthy, I can do a lot of things in life, and you too will do like the way I am doing now. And then now I started training the fellow fistula survivors on what I learned from school. The skills that I have, I'm really not selfish with them. I give to the survivors, I show them what I know. The message I have for the survivors out there, please, there is hospital, we have doctors, we have nurses, they have quality care, and you will go back when you're dry. The, the, Part of you which was wet will go back when it's already cleared. So tell other people out there about Fistula, that we have the hospital of Fistula in Soroti. Thank you the people who helps us in Terrewode to build for us this beautiful, wonderful hospital to change the life of the women. I'm really very, very grateful.